Hi guys, it's Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. How are you guys? It's Monday night and I survived. So hopefully this is going to work tonight. So let's see. Didn't say I'm live on here yet. Hey guys, say hello when you come in. Hey Lori, Let's see if I can find it here. Of course it's not gonna work. So how is everyone doing? You guys know I had my grandkids all weekend, so I actually survived that. It was a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, my husband took them home to their house because their parents aren't going to be home till about um seven o'clock tonight. You know, oh, I'm sorry, let me turn this down. Going, so so it has just been one of those days. Hey Jackie, hello, hello, hello. So if I see me <laughs> more scatterbrained than I normally do, you guys will know why. <laughs> so all right. Um so I wanted oh now I gotta turn that off. Woof. All right. Hello, everyone. Sorry if I missed anyone. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys was some new signs that I got from Jackie from the Crazy Chicken Lady. Oh, I don't know how. It's, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. So I don't know. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So this is one of the signs she sent me. Oh, thank you so much, Karen. It says the elf made me do it. So I know I'll be making something with that. And then this one I'm so excited about. Okay, so I found this ribbon. Can you guys see this ribbon? It's upside down, sorry. Um, but isn't that cute? Hello, Diane. Hello, Patricia. So, hey, Kelly, welcome. So I called Jackie and I said, I would love a sign. I know, Rosie, I can't figure it out. I really can't. I was still working on it. Um, made to match that. So can you guys see that? Can you see the red on there? Isn't that adorable? So she like matched that perfectly. So I'm excited about that one too. And then this is another one she sent me. Isn't that pretty? It's like a teal green um, with gold. So um, there's a couple that I know I'm gonna be working on. I'm really excited about this one. I can't wait. So I will definitely be doing those. Get that out of my way. And then um, I wanted to show you, this was the rail that I had used. Hey, Patty. Hey, Ann. Hey, Linda. Hey, Sue. Hey, Shirley. Um, when I made that snowman wreath the other day. Do you guys remember when I made that snowman um, rail? So um, just to show you guys real quick. Hey, Joy. Hey, Gail. So I have to cover the back yet. Um, but I just took this rail and I put it on there and then I used popsicle sticks to attach it. So, um, oh boy, Kay. So, and I painted mine, but I'm going to put like a, a mat from the dollar store on the back to cover that because it looks kind of yucky because I wanted to make sure that this hat wasn't going to fall. So I wanted to show you guys that, that if you have something that um, you'd like to make into a rail that you have like a sign of, you can just get the blank um, rail forms. Okay. So you can always get those. Hey, Tia. Hey, Car Kathy. So I just wanted to go over those with you real quick and show you those new things. And then um, I found this. I was going to make one of those, but I found this at the at-home store a couple weeks ago when I went. So I um, kind of wanted to make this. So I'm going to use this mesh. And I know, remember, we used this mesh the other day. Um, so I'm going to finish up the roll. But, you know, look how perfectly that goes with that. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a straight edge on this so it's not all wonky on me. Oop. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, I was busy. I mean, it was fun, but it was exhausting. You know how it is. It's, it's fun, but whew, they wore you out. So, um... Don't forget about my group. If you guys want information on my group, please type group in the comments and it will um, 
take you there also. Oh, you did, Kathy? Oh, awesome. And then um, don't forget, if you don't get a live alert, Rosie, this isn't live, um, type live and then make sure you guys answer the questions. Um, Rosie, I know I'm still dumbfounded by not you not getting them. I know, right, Marcy? Isn't it pretty? So um, type that in, but you do have to answer the questions. Now, one thing about my group, it is a paid group. It's going to be $14.99 a month. So if you ask to join the group and you get declined, it's because you haven't paid. Okay? So, and I'm so excited. Tomorrow night, we're going to do our first Zoom call together. I thought we'd kind of introduce ourselves and um, I'm going to do this the other way. Um, you know, kind of just get to know each other a little bit. And that's the best part of it because then, like I said, I can see them and they can see me. So we'll really get to know each other. So I'm really looking um, forward to it. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Hey, Kathy, how are you? So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Now, if there's things we do in our group like that people miss that you can't make or, make or something, just don't forget to always be, you know, in our group. Hey, Denise. I know I'm so excited about it, Lori. I can't wait. So, yeah, so we do live last week. And then, like I said, we're going to do our Zoom, first Zoom call tomorrow night. I just thought we'd get to know each other. So, all right, so you guys know I always make my own wreath forms. I'm weird that way. I don't know. I just like the ones that I make. Um, I put 12 full pipe cleaners on. Hey, Tia, thank you so much for sharing. Um, I put six where each crossbar comes on the inner ring. And then I put six in between those two on the third one. Okay, so one in each section. And then I put a half one on that crossbar in the third one. I only use a half one here because I don't put the ribbon tails in there. Um, oh, thanks, Gail. So that's why I only do that. I mean, you're welcome to do it any way you want. That's just the way I kind of like to do it. So um, we'll get started. Hey, Cynthia, how are you? Oh, I know. It is hard sometimes, but um, this one was, I was going through my ribbons, and I ha saw this mesh, and I'm like, you know, you normally use, like, red and white or red or white or something like that. But I saw this ribbon and I thought it goes perfectly with the, um, the mesh and the sign or the ribbon. So that's what we're going to do. Hey, Cindy, how are you guys? Yes, I will still do video nights. Um, it's just in my group, we'll go more in depth. You'll have more, I'm going to do 10 inch poofs here. You'll have, you know, more one-on-one -on -one attention. Um, you know, and like I said, we'll be doing Zoom calls so we can make things together. We can, um, you know, kind of get to know each other. If they have questions about wreaths, anything like that. So it's just going to be a totally different um, kind of thing. So thanks, Kathy. Yeah, I know. I do too. And they'll get special discounts at places. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So, and if I go like shopping at my wholesale place they will, um, you know, be able, I'll, I can buy it for them for that. The sign I'm going to use, oh, sure, Carol. This just came from Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, at home. So, making that. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the group. We already had a video that went over, like, all of the tools and different things that, um, you know, you kind of use when you do rethink. I'm also, I also have a vendor list that um, I put together. Hey, Sherry, how are you? So that you can get, um, you know, a list of all the vendors I use or, you know, a lot of people use. And then, um, so we're going to start out with the basics like that, you know, because so, people, don't, people don't always have it. I know, Patty, but did you see that um, AC Moore now has um, an online store, which I was really surprised. So, um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. It just depends on the mesh. Um, and I will be teaching, obviously, deco mesh. We will be doing, like, the pine base ones. We will be doing some grapevine ones, that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll touch on a little bit of everything. So... I'm really excited about it. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Kathy, that was a bummer about your floors. A bummer, a bummer. Yeah, definitely check it out. Like I said, if you're interested in my group, just type group and then um, answer the questions and you can um, join right from there. Hey, 
Michelle, how are you? So when I get, get back to the first one, I do open that one back up, but I don't normally, you know, open all of them up. So Kathy, how long is that floor thing going to set you back? That's crazy. So Kathy and her husband are building a new um, house. Hey, Jane. And they had the wood floors redone and everything. Hey, Christina. And someone walked on them and they weren't all the way dry. So now they have to redo them. Isn't that terrible? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is 21-inch mesh. Yep, and the frame is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. And then when you finish the top row, I'm going to just kind of move it down. Oh, uh, that's crazy. I'm not going to pull because if you pull, your mesh will pull over. So you just kind of want to loosely place it here. Hey, Sandy, how are you? So, oh, I can't. That, that would be such a pain. And then you're going to just going to do 10 inch poofs here as well. I am making kind of a candy wreath, I guess you could say it's called. Oh, thank you, Marcy. Yeah, if you guys could share this page with your friends and family, I would greatly appreciate it. I know I love this mesh. Isn't it so pretty? Hey, Nalia, how are you? Did I sell that right? Nalia? I am exhausted. I am exhausted, Sandy. Let me tell you, all the kids were up at 5 a.m. this morning. I was ready to rip my hair out. <laughs> I was like, no, no, you can't get out of bed yet. It's way too early. And of course, you know, kids, as soon as they wake up, she, they're not going to go back to sleep. So 5 a.m., 5 a.m. And I, you guys, I can stay up. I can stay up till 1, 2 in the morning. But thank you, Gail. I, um, oh, Lord knows, I need my sleep. In the morning. Like if I can sleep till 7.30, 7, 7.30, I think I'm usually good. Oh, thanks, Kathy. This mesh came from Ed London Reef, but they have, I think, I'm pretty sure they have it at Craft Outlet, because I know Ed London is out. No, Jerry Lynn, there's no wrong way in reefing. There's no wrong way in reefing. So, honestly, if you want to start on the inside, you can start on the inside. If you want to start on the outside, it's totally up to you. No, it's not wrong. It's just, some, you know. And sometimes I probably do start on the outside. I don't know. I don't know that I really pay attention that much when I, when I, when I do this work. But um, thank you very much. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I used to have, well, I had those four. And then I on Mondays, I watched my sons two, which are four and two. So they came at 7.30. So at 7.30, I had six of them. Eight o'clock, my husband took the three older ones to school. So then from 8 o'clock till 4.30, no, from 8 o'clock till 3, I had the three younger ones, 4, 2, and 1 and a half. And then my daughter-in-law came, or then my, my husband picked up the three older ones at 3, brought them back. So from 3 to 4.30, I had the six of them. And then um, my daughter-in-law came 4.30, picked up, picked up the 4-year-old and the 2-year-old. And then my husband at six o'clock drove the other three down to their house because um, my daughter's going to be home at like midnight tonight. So it's been a little crazy. <laughs> it is right, Jack. Right, Marcy. It is. I, I'm telling you, I was so tired. So the two younger ones took a nap. And so I just put a little video on for the four year old. And I'm like, I need to sleep. I, I've got to get a little nap or otherwise I will really be a mess. <laughs> so yes, I did get a little nap in, but um, yeah. Uh oh, we're going to make it. Might need another roll. I know. Isn't this mesh pretty? I really do love it. I was hoping we'd get a whole wreath out of it, but it doesn't look like it. So, Hey Johnny, how are you? Oh, today. I know, Kathy, right? We talked about that when we went out to lunch the other day. <laughs> I know. In fact, when my daughter called today. I was like, okay, when are you sending me to Florida for a week? <laughs> hey, Susan, how are you? Whoops. All right. Oh, and did you guys see that Susie has her um, gift wrap? 
holders available. Make sure you go check them out on Su I have that let me um I'll put where I um usually let me see Susie's mesh oh no you guys right so right before I went on live right I was working on stuff and I was like oh my word it said um oh I'm sorry you don't feel good Deb I hope you feel better my I was you know working on my stuff trying to get everything ready I know it does doesn't it? <laughs> and um my computer said, oh, it needs to restart. And I'm like, no. And then it restarted. I must have hit yes. And I'm like, no, I don't have time to restart. This is like literally like two minutes before seven. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, thanks. Yeah, I do have some I made, um, Gail, the UITC ones. So, oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> You guys, so I really like, no kidding. I'm like, oh my word. Am I even here? Of course, I don't have, um, here we go. Um, oh, okay. Here's a mesh holder. Sorry, guys. So, yes, I'm a little wonky today, but here's where you get the mesh holder. You ready? Yeah, so um, make sure you go and get one of those because it's really good. I mean, I used, when I did my um, wrapping last year, I was like, I use that. So I used that with, and I cut the mesh or the paper with my rotary cutter. It was awesome. It made it so much easier. <laughs> oh, back here, this one. I got those at a yard sale site, um, Marcy. Yes, Gail, it's um, it's month to month. Hey, Sonia. Yep, it's month to month. It's fourteen ninety nine a month. So, um, you know, she it's just by month. Hey, Sonia. I am doing. I'm gonna do like a candy wreath. So let me grab another roll of that. I was hoping that um, I would get through that one, but I figured I might not. So, hey Donna, hey Cindy, hey Elaine. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I know, isn't this pretty? So yeah, so if you are new to my page and you don't receive alerts and you would like alerts. When I go live, just type in live. And I also have a group that I just started. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Just type in group. Put this on here. Right. Awesome. Just type Michelle. Just type in um, group. And then it will send you to um, a link to hit PayPal. Welcome, Robin. I'm glad you're here. You can't hear me? Um, someone type in for Nelia to um, go back out and come back in. Oh, Marcy, this is a, um, it's a laptop holder. And it adjusts to different heights. It's really cool. Yeah, so just type in group and then it'll take you to the link in my PayPal and you go ahead and pay, and then once you're paid, you ask to join the group. You have to answer the questions in order to join the group. And then, hey, Barbara, and then um, you get into the group. So let me know if that's working. Hopefully that's working. You should get something back. Let me make sure it's working. <laughs> And it says draft. Why is it not? Hold on. Let me make sure this is going. Okay. Try typing in group again. Yeah, that's where I got it. Um, I got it on Amazon. Hey, Barbara, try typing in group again and see if it works because it should work now. I don't know. It keeps saying draft. I don't know why it, it's not, um, oh, wait a minute, that's why, oh my goodness, okay, 
So now it's active. Sorry, guys. Um, try typing in group again. It should work now. The group is $14.99 a month, and we're just getting started. So I'm excited about that. So please try. If you typed in group before, um, no, Donna, because I'm still waiting. I think I'm just going to schedule it. I'm still waiting for people to let me know that they got their supplies. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just go ahead and schedule it. And then um, if they can't make it to the live Zoom call, then they can get the um, video. Um, I'm Kathy, I'm starting a group, a monthly paid um, wreath makers group. If you want to learn more about making beautiful wreaths, it's going to be $14.99 a month. And like I said, we're going to start from scratch and, oh, please let me know that it worked. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we started out, like we just started last week. Is anybody else having problems? Because I don't, it looks okay on my end, on my computer and my um, iPad and my phone. If it's blurry, try going out and coming back in because sometimes it's Facebook too. Um, all right. Angie, let me know if you got the link, because hopefully it's working now. It should be working. Yeah, it should be working. So make sure you let me know. Um, yeah, so we're going to really start with the basics. And um, like I said, I went over already with them, like the tools that they um that I use and then we're going to go over like all different types of wreath bases and they can search yes yeah they can well the stuff on this page they can but not the stuff on my page paid group they won't be able to because that will only be for the members Yeah, they can't do it for the paid stuff, Tia. And like I said, we're going to do Zoom calls, um, make stuff together. And absolutely, Barbara, yep, just type group and um, follow the link. And you can just join. Is anyone getting that? Is that working, the group, if you type in group? If someone can let me know if that's working. Oh, awesome, Annette. You got yours. At, what did you get at Target, Peggy? Sorry, sometimes it's like delayed and you're answering, but I, it's like five steps back that I already answered, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Tia, in this group, anyone can, but not in the paid group. Because that's what's called a closed group. And you can see the group, you just won't be able to see anything in it. So. Oh, awesome, Patty. Great. Did anyone get the link for the, if you typed in group? I just want to make sure that's working. Oh, my. It's just one of those nights. Let me see. If not, let's see. Okay, well, if there should be on there, Sandy, about live and about um, about group, that kind of thing. If not, here's the link. I'll pin this link. Oh, pin that, to, um, and you can. Okay, I'll pin that comment, and you can just click on that, and that'll take you to the group. Okay, so we have one more here. And then we're back at the beginning. Oh, awesome. For $18? Wow, Debbie, that's an amazing price. I don't think I've ever seen it that low. Is it the self-healing mat? Thanks, Diane. That's amazing. All right, I'm now like paranoid that that's not working. Okay, it should be working. Let me know if it's not, though. Okay, 
All right, so now we are done. So I'm just going to cut that off. I know, isn't it great? I love this mesh. I know, love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. Hey, Robin, how are you? So yeah, so try that link. If, if you don't get a link, let me know. Um, Sonia, it's totally up to you. What if that, what, the, how the group will work is, I'm just going to fluff these out a little bit. Um, you'll pay $14.99 a month. Um, it's through PayPal. So you automatically get, um, I know, right, Debbie? They're expensive. You'll automatically get billed every month. If you ever want to, um, leave the group, you just stop your subscription on PayPal. And then, um, like I said, we're going to be doing, um, I'll be doing like lives once a week to start out until, you know, because right now it's a little crazy with Christmas and my shows and everything like that. And then we will have Zoom calls and um, we will, you know, be making all kinds of wreaths. We'll be making, you know, some other things. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, we're going to start with the basics. Um, I already started with um, like going over all the tools and stuff. And then the next one we're going to do is going all the different wreath bases. And then we're going to go over mesh and ribbon and all that kind of stuff. And how to add your ribbon and how to choose your ribbon. So um, it's really kind of for everyone. But yeah. So, all right. That's the base. What do you guys think? I love the different colors in it. I really do. I think it turned out really cute. All right. There I see Christine got something. So. I finally see it firing, so hopefully that'll work. So yeah, if you would please share this video with your friends and family, I would much appreciate it. The picture is frozen. It, everything looks fine on my end. Try going out and coming back in, Patty. Sometimes it does that. Um, Robin, it started last week, but like I said, we just did the one. We're going to do our first... Um, we're going to be doing our first Zoom call tomorrow night to kind of get to know each other. So if you join by tomorrow night at 8, you guys will be able to get in on that Zoom call. And I have right I have discounts um, in my group right now. Jackie from the Crazy Chicken Lady is going to offer 10% off um, with a special code for anyone that's in my group. Susie's Mesh Roller is going to be offering a special um, discount if you're in my paid group. And um, I'm going to be offering a discount on anything in my Etsy shop. So, and I'm sure we'll be adding to that if we can. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. All right. So that's the base. I love these. I love, love, love. Okay. So next we're going to be adding the ribbon streamers. And so I'll show this to you guys. So I'm going to be using the green and this is from sam's club and then the red is from sam's club and this is a ribbon that i got at my local wholesaler so again if you're in my group and you know want some of this ribbon i can get it for you at discounted prices okay and then this one i got it at home isn't that pretty doesn't that go perfectly so i thought i would just show you guys how i um cut my ribbon um, Johnny, we're going to do Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock to start out with. And then um, we will go from there. So what I do is I put my um, ribbon on here. And then I measure to 14 inches. And I just kind of hold my finger there. And then I just fold it over. And this just makes it so much easier to cut my mesh. And I only need six because we're going to do six. Kathy, just, I will, um, just send me a message, Kathy. Okay, so then I just take them, fold them in half, and dovetail it. Yep, so if you're in my group, or if you're in my paid group, you will get a discount on any wreath in my shop. And um, that kind of stuff. Well, actually, anything in my shop. So, Yeah, we're going to do Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then, you know, we'll, I'm sure like after Christmas when it gets a little less crazy, because like this weekend I have to set up Thursday night for a show. 
Um, that's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then, um, yeah, six Sandy. Because what I do is I alternate them and put them into the um, streamers. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to start out with doing Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. every Tuesday night. And then I'm sure once, like I said, once the craziness of Christmas is over, I know I'm going to be doing more. All right. So what I'm going to do is I took one, two and a half. And then both of the one and a half. So I cut six of each of these and then 12 of each of the red and the green. And then I just fold it in half. Whoops. And then you just pinch it in the center there. And then kind of get it to curl a little bit. Um, let me see, Vicki. Let me see if I can see the rest of your comment. Um, I'm keeping them on Etsy for now. Um, I am thinking about switching to Shopify. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but I am actually thinking of um, switching to Shopify as well. Because Etsy is, I mean, but still... You know, you're going to, you know, Etsy is a good place to start. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Okay, so that's the one streamer. So I'm going to use that one. And then I'm going to use this one with the red and the green. So this time I'm going to put the green on the bottom and the red on the top. Hey, Kay. Yes, I cut them to 14 inches. Yep. Yep, and then I just fold them in half. Yes, I put the, the ribbon tails in the six on the top on the inner ring. And then um, I put them on just six on the bottom. Oop, kind of caught on the mesh. I know, I love this mesh. It really is beautiful. Okay, so that's the two different, I like, just kind of like to use different alternating ribbons like that. So this one again, I'm going to take and I'm going to do the red on the bottom and then the green on the top. And then just fold it in half. Oh, thanks, Tia. Oh, thanks, Nelia. Well, I really do enjoy the teaching aspect of it. I don't know. I never thought I would be a teacher. I don't think I'm, you know, but I really like it. Hey, Robin, I got this at a local wholesale place, but they don't have it anymore. Um, but I know Craft Outlet did have the mesh. So you can check on craftoutlet.com. Like I said, I know they did have it. I'm not sure if they'd still do or not. Because sometimes the stuff goes out of stock. Absolutely, Gail. Yep, you can join anytime. Yep, you can join any time. Oh, thanks, Tia. I'm excited. Good. Um, whoops. That one didn't quite cut all the way. Oh, thanks, Kay. I know. I'm really, I'm super excited about it, you guys. I really am. I'm so stoked about this group. And I'm like, all weekend I had the kids and I was just like, oh, I should be doing this in the group. Oh, I want to be doing this in the group. But I just didn't have time, guys. But it will get better. It will get better. After that, like I said, this weekend I have a three-day craft show. Um, so I have to set up Thursday night. So the live this Thursday will probably be once I get everything set up. And then, um, then it's um, all day Friday, all day Saturday. And Sunday. So it's Fridays from 11 to 8, Saturdays from 11 to 8, and then um, Sunday is from, I think, 12 to 6. So another crazy weekend. Oh, thanks, Gail. Yeah, I'm so excited about the group. Yes, it is 24 by 36. 
yeah, I think I'm going to do it like a set, um, a set night every week that we'll like, I'll do a live or we'll do a zoom call or something like that. And then, like I said, once the holidays are over and a little less crazy, I'll definitely probably pop on at least one or two other more times, but, um, you know, I kind of like that and, you know, we'll, we'll work through it and, um, you know, we'll change things as we go and see how everyone likes it. But I think it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And, you know, I, ha I bought a turkey from either Hobby Lobby or, um, or at home that I wanted to make a, a turkey centerpiece with you guys. And I cannot find that turkey to save my life. That turkey must have grew wings and flew away because I cannot find that turkey anywhere. It wasn't the one I made the wreaths out of. It was a different one. Um, hey, Pam from Myrtle Beach. I have another, I have a member of my group that's from Myrtle Beach. I love Myrtle Beach. Love it, love it, love it. So we are excited to get started. So do you live any near, anywhere near the Tanger Outlets, Pam? When we come down, we um, we stay near where those Tanger Outlets are. Thanks, Mabel. Hey, Carmel. Hey, Charlotte. No problems. I said if you guys could share this, I would greatly appreciate it. If you don't already receive alerts and would like alerts when I'm going live, type in live. I know, Cindy. I have no idea. I have tore this place up. I went in my my attic where I keep like all my out of season stuff. I cannot find it. I have no idea what I did with it. I'm going to be watching. Hey, Terry. So I, I'm looking for it fervently. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So if you want to join the group, you just type in group. If you want live notifications, just type in live. Oh, you're really oh from 501. Okay, yeah, we, um, you know, where the Tanger outlets are up by where that mall, where the, where the Walmart is. We're real close to there. Like, we're like five minutes we stay from there. Thank you guys for sharing. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, Gail, we I did a live last week, and um, we can talk more about it. If, well, I don't, I don't think you're in my group yet, but um, about um, what equipment you need to get started. Like a lot of the stuff, like really what you need to get started, you definitely need a rotary cutter and a um, self-healing mat. Um, scissors, you know, different things like that. Um, that is one of the things like I'll go over in the group, like exactly what you need. Um, and like what you don't need, like a lot of stuff, you know, when you're first starting out, you know, you want to go and, um, yes. Yeah, Pam. Okay, cool. Um, the group is $14.99 a month. Um, like I said, when you first start out, you um, want to buy everything under the sun and that will get you into trouble. <laughs> so you want to, you know, kind of just get what you need to get, you know. Um, and what we'll do is like I'll do lives. I'll give them this, my supply list. You know, if they want to make it, they can make it. We'll do one um, like um, video tutorial month so that they can do it on their own with all the supply lists. And, but like I said, if they have any questions, we'll do that. We'll, you know, go over everything with them. Yeah, wreathing is addicting, especially ribbon. Is anybody with me on that? It is addicting. You know, you're always like, oh, I need that ribbon. Oh, I love that ribbon. Oh, oh, oh. So, <laughs> wreathing can be very addicting. So, 
give me a thumbs up if you guys are addicted to ribbon. Because uh, this girl here is addicted to ribbon. It's funny, my neighbor, um, she calls me a ribbon whore. <laughs> because I, I love ribbon. I just, I can't go anywhere without buying. I can't buy, you know, can't buy ribbon. I have to buy ribbon. I know, right? It is so easy to do. And, you know, you always need that ribbon to match this or match that or something, you know? Right, you can never have enough ribbon. You just can't. <laughs> yep, okay. It's only just begun, girlfriend. Okay, you have to say it out loud. Hello, my name is Brenda, and I'm a ribbon addict. <laughs> we need to start a support group. <laughs> Oh, with buttons, too? Oh, wow. I know it's crazy. It really is. Like, it's just insane. You know, and the same with mesh, you know? See, they jumped, Rosie. They jumped. Those, I don't know what it is about those ribbons. They just jump in your cart. <laughs> we were taught to use pine in wreath. Um, yes, Debbie, it will be mostly wreath making. I mean, it will be some like business information, um, but it's not a business coaching group. Um, you know, I might start that eventually down the road, but for right now, we're just going to do the, um, wreath making. Uh, ah, Sam's. Yep. So it's like, it's basically going to be, um, right, Cindy? You know, you can't buy just one roll because what if you run out? Then you don't have another roll. So I never buy just one roll of ribbon. I always buy at least two. And usually three. Alrighty. So, you know, because you just can't have enough. I didn't cut enough green. I need one more green. You didn't buy ribbon? K, you deserve a star. Girl, you deserve a star. Does anyone remember that? When um, when I was in kindergarten, don't you remember they used to put a, a gold star on your forehead, like if you were good that day? Does any did anyone else in school do that? I remember that, and I remember thinking, oh, gold star. Cindy, you can do it. You can do it. Yep. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yep. So, yeah. So, we'll be doing mesh. We'll be doing the pine bases. You guys, I did a flocked wreath. Um, and I am in, I'm addicted to flock wreaths now. I know, Kay. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. Yeah, I went to... Um, Joanne's the other day. Yeah, you remember the gold star, Cindy? Okay, good. It's not just me. <laughs> I remember that. They put a gold little gold star on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't do too bad. I didn't buy a lot of ribbon, although I did buy some. Um, huh. Okay, I have one too many of these and not enough of green. So let me cut one more green real quick. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I didn't do too bad. I didn't buy a lot. I bought a couple more of the flocked um, Christmas wreaths because they were on sale for seven. You did too? Yeah, see? I'm not the only one. Um, they were on sale for like $7.49. I know. Aren't they beautiful? I never did one before. And um, I did one the other day, and I was like, oh, my word. Now I'm hooked. And I've made a second one since. And then I, I know I know that's one of the things we're going to do in our group, too. Because I am addicted to them now. Mm -hmm. You bought 32 rolls? Was that at Sam's or was that at Joann's? Hey, Renee, how are you? I know, I'm telling you, I'm in love with those flocked wreaths. I'm hoping that I have time to make a couple more... Um, a couple more before Saturday because I really want to take a couple to this craft show. Because right now I have two. Um, the one I have to finish, but 
I know I love them. I love them, love them, love them. So I, you did a flock swag. Oh, oh, Joanne's. Yeah, I didn't. I did go to Joanne's, but I had how many kids with me? I don't know, two or four. Hey, Susie, there's Susie, the inventor of my mesh roller. I was just telling them about your mesh roller, Susie, or your mesh holder. About the um the gift wrap, buddy. Okay. So there's the base with the ribbons with the you know different colored streamers. And then we'll go ahead and put the sign on next. And like I said, I got this one from at home. At home? Did I say? You guys, I'm losing it. I can't remember now. No, Cindy, I actually bought them. I actually bought them um, flocked from Joann's. In fact, I can show you guys um, in a minute. They're right over there. Because I just fell in love with them. Although I think it would be cool to try, but I think it would be awful messy too. I know, Susie, I was telling them they better get it soon because it's going to be gone if they don't get it soon. Got to have that gift wrap, buddy, for Christmas. Oh, awesome, Deborah. Oh, okay, so I forgot to tell you guys. So what I do is um, on my signs, you can attach them a couple different right ways. Um, this is just one way. So what I do is I take popsicle sticks and I cut them into little pieces because I don't want the um, staple to go through the back. I'll, I'll show you when I'm done, Kay. Yep, I'll show you. I just kind of twirl them under, but I want to make sure. I don't do that until I know... Um, that I don't want to put anything else in there, but I think we're going to add a couple more things. So that's why. Oh yeah. See, Darlene, I don't know if I want to deal with all that. I'd rather just buy them flocked. Oh, I missed that one completely. Okay. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Um, Elaine, it's just kind of how you, um, kind of how you work them you want to kind of some people say massage your ribbons it's on how you lay them down that one's sticking up I didn't get that one in very good um Cindy I'm not sure if it's wide enough for um the there we go I'm not sure if the, um, maybe Susie can answer that one. I'm not sure that the regular one is wide enough for rolls of, um, yeah, right, Darlene? That's what I say. I don't want to mess with, like, flocking and all that. It just seems like a lot of mess. came right out sorry I'm like trying to watch comments make sure I don't miss you guys okay here we go okay I didn't even know you could tear the paper off after it's measured oh wow that's awesome Deborah so Deborah's just talking about Susie's um gift wrap buddy and I'm not sure if yet hey um Susie are you still on here I don't think the regular mesh holders are wide enough for the um gift wrap is it hey say is it say do you pronounce it okay Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I will bother trying that. <laughs> I'd rather just buy it done. 
I know it's a little more money, but um, it's not, you know, when I got them on sale at Joann's, it really wasn't even that much money. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I didn't think you could use the gift wrap or the mesh holder to do the long rolls of ribbon. Oh, Sarah. Okay. Hi, Sarah. All right. So then I'm just going to put this right in the center here. And I am going to go right through the mesh and I'm going to try to get it on one of the crossbars. Okay. When I say crossbar, it's the bar that goes here. And then I'm just going to put it around and that way it doesn't slide back and forth on your wreath. So you do want to try at least and get it on one of the crossbars so that your sign doesn't slide all over the place. Okay. Oh, okay. I, you know what, guys, I'm going to admit it. I hate to wrap gifts. 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 So anything that will make my life easier, girl, I am all about it. Oh, yeah, make sure you go and leave a review for Susie on her page if you have it. That would be a huge blessing. Hey, Glenda, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I know. I don't know what it is. I just, I hate wrapping. Oh, thanks, Jane. Yeah, I got this from at home. Hello, Vicki. Your shopping is all done and wrapped. Girl, you need to come here. That is a miracle. You know, you're like my sister. My sister does the same thing. My sister's usually done in November, too. I have not bought the first gift yet. Not one. Oh, he wraps. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I have not I have not brought the first gift yet. That is Yeah, you need to come to my house. <laughs> All right. So, now that we have the sign on, we will put some embellishments on here. So, I have a couple different ones. I know. I have not even finished it yet. You're just finishing Afghan? Is it um, crocheted or um, is it, was crocheted or, or knitted? I used to crochet all the time. And then I hurt my neck and I couldn't really do it. So, all right. So we have some of these. Oh, thanks, Annette. All right. So... I know, right, Susie? Yep, I do the same thing. So I have some of these picks that I got at Joann's last year. And then, where did I get these last year? I don't remember where I got these. Are these? Oh, these are Joann's also. Oh, wow, that's huge. I know, right? So I'm going to use a combination of these two. So let me get my little knife here thank you and you want to make sure you cut the tags off but don't cut yourself so i just use my straight edge to cut them off yeah that's what i i what i did last year at um after christmas um, I bought a ton of these picks, you know, on sale. So, so I thought what I would do is the one with the candy cane ribbon, which is this one. I'm going to put the little pieces of candy in there. So I'm just going to take it and kind of wrap it around where the, um, where the pipe cleaner is. Okay. I'm just going to take it and wrap it around there so it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So I just took it, wrapped it around, 
And then, oh, I had that other stuff I wanted to try too. I might add that yet too, so I'm not going to close these off yet. Okay. So then I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do the little candies in that. Oh my goodness, Darlene, you're amazing. And then the one with the green and red ribbon, like this one. I'm going to have to rearrange all my ribbons once I get the, get the sign in there. I'm going to take the little candy cane picks and wrap that around those. And because these, you know, the stems are long enough on these, so you don't even need to worry about, you know, doing anything else. Just putting them in there and adding that. Okay. And then once I get done, I will go back and fix all my ribbon streamers. But hello from Milwaukee. How are you? Let me make sure you get all those off of there. I hate when they don't come off all the way. It's such a pain. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it's turned out cute. All right, so again, the one with the, the kind of ribbons, candy cane, I will put that in there. Kind of push it down there and wrap it around. white at the top oh those those are um they are just sh uh, shelving wire shelving and um just turned back upside down Then I have this um, other stuff, too, that I was thinking of adding. So that's why... You didn't get an alert? Ugh. This whole Facebook thing and many chat has been the death of me lately. I don't know what is going on with it. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Hello, Christa, Christy from the UK. Welcome. Like I said, the ones with the um, the, with uh, candy cane ribbon, I'm putting the other ones in there. Oh, I went through the mesh. Whoops, that one just dropped. Yeah, so I have this stuff, and I was going to see if I could maybe um, put that in there too. Where at in PA do you live? Everything's all smushed and crazy. You gotta pull that out. Hello from Wisconsin, how are you? And everything gets smushed anyway and you kind of have to go and rearrange everything. And Oh no, they're sold out. You didn't get an alert either? Ugh. Now, what is going on with my mini chat? And you definitely have gotten alerts before. I'm telling you, this mini chat lately is going to be the death of me. I really don't know what's going on with it. All right, so what I'm going to maybe try is, let me see, take about maybe 10 inches. And I thought maybe... I don't know. Kind of put these in there also. So I'm just kind of twirling it around. And then I'm going to wrap it around the pipe cleaners. And I'm going to tie it into the pipe cleaners also. So then once I'm done, and I know I have everything in the pipe cleaners, 
I'm just going to take them and twirl them around. You got yours? Okay. So see that I'm just going to kind of add that little red twirly to and see how I like that. What do you guys think about that? You like that? Yeah. That's what I'll do. I should use my things because you'll dull your scissors doing this. Yeah, just type in live, Mary, and you should um, get a message from my bot. And then make sure you respond to that message. If you don't respond, you will not be on the, um, you won't be subscribed. And like I said, if you want any information about my group, just type in group. Yeah, I've had this stuff and I thought, hmm, I want to use this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 12. Okay, so you're not too far from me. All right. I'm going to use those too. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is I will just take one of these and I will wrap it around to kind of get that little effect. And tie it in. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, and I'm just tying these pipe cleaners in there real good. And then what I do with the pipe cleaners is I just take them. Oh, awesome. And then, like I said, I'm just going to have to go back and fix all the tails and all that kind of stuff. So, well, I like those. I think it just adds a little extra oomph to it. Okay, so next we're going to do this one. It's like a tinsel wire. And it's just another decorative piece. Yeah, that's all it is. Or tinsel tubing, I guess it's called, is the, um, the name for it. So again, I'm just going to stick that down in the mesh. I'm going to wrap my pipe cleaner around it. And then wrap that around the frame. And once you get that around the frame, it's not going anywhere. Hey, Margaret, how are you? You just want to make sure you twist that under there so it doesn't um, scratch whosoever door it's going on. Okay, then I'm going to take one of these and just wrap it around. And, you know, you don't have to be particular about, you know, making sure they're the right size or any, you know, the exact same size or anything. I don't really need to worry about that. I mean, just, you know. Oh, no problem, Diane. I'm glad you're here. Oh, did you? You know, I need to make one of those rose gold wreaths, but, you know, I really don't have a lot of that ribbon. Okay, and then just take those and twirl them around also. Mm 
And then, like I said, it's just adding another dimension to your wreath. Because you want your wreaths to have dimension. You don't want them to kind of be flat looking. What do you guys think? I like this little twirly thing in there. <laughs> yes, Kay. <laughs> oh, there's always an excuse to buy ribbon. That's the problem. <laughs> That's for sure. Always, always, always. Oh, you did at Big Lots? You know, I've been meaning to go to Big Lots and just haven't gotten there yet. Um, the closest Big Lots is about, I don't know, about a half hour from here. So I um, I keep getting coupons and stuff for Big Lots, and I'm like, oh, I have to go, I have to go, and I just haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so I'm just going to again take that and wrap it around that frame. Because those wires are nice and long. What's nice about those picks. Like I said, you kind of want to pull your ribbon streamers out from under there and um, get them set up. How do I pick the colors? What I do is I normally start with either a sign or a ribbon or something like that that I want to match. And then I just go from there. So like this started with the sign. Um, so then I just kind of found the ribbon I wanted and went from there. Yeah, I haven't been yet. I really need to go. I keep saying I want to get there, but I just haven't uh, haven't gotten there yet. But uh, because it's like one of those places, like okay, I know if I go, I'm going to spend money. So I'm like, I know I want to go, but I'm like, oh, maybe I will just wait. <laughs> you kind of always want to wait. For, I always want to wait for a sale too. So then, like I said, what I do with the pipe cleaners, too, I do the same thing. I just kind of wrap them around and kind of, you know, have them as decorative part of the wreath. Well, thanks, Barbara. And then, like I said, you're always going to have to go through and refluff, even, you know, when you get done. You'll want to go through and hang it up and refluff everything and kind of get it the way you want it. I need to add one of those to there. Hey, Sandra, how are you? How have you been? So yeah, don't forget, if you don't get alerts, to go ahead and type in live. If you do get alerts and want information, information on my um, monthly group, type in group. And you will get um, a link to the PayPal. Steven, hey, buddy. Any luck yet on those shots? Guys, you need to put Steven on your prayer list if you don't already have him there. Like I said, they get stuck under the sign, so you want to pull them out. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Kind of re-fluff them, get them where you want them. Okay. Hey, Ann, how's it going? Okay, I just need to put one of the red things in there.
Yes, I used 10 inch on the top and the bottom. Yep, absolutely. So the bottom will be a little more full than the top. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Oh, you are? Oh, Steve and I kind of wondered. Oh, well, we will definitely let us know how it goes. Please keep us posted. Have someone let us know how you make out, please. I'm doing well. Thanks, Ann. Just going to wrap that around there. I am wrapping um, the pipe cleaners around it to kind of help hold it in. Oh, you mean around the this stick. I'm doing the pipe cleaners around this also. And it's just kind of like you don't want them sticking straight up. So I just take them and wrap them around the um, pipe cleaner. This one's kind of stuck down in there. Okay. I'll show you in a second here. All right. Get those to lay right. So that's the top. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Do the different ones around there. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm alternating the picks. And um, whoop, putting them on. Yes, thank you. Please, yeah, please make sure someone lets us know. All right, so I'm just going to cut the price tags off here. Thank you. <laughs> I know, it's addicting, isn't it? All right, so the candy cane ones again are going to go in the one with the red striped ribbon here. I'm going to take it and wrap it around here. Get that locked on there. And then this is just like a, it's like a, just a tinsel wire. And so what I'm, I just cut it in like 12 inch pieces and I'm just wrapping it around this dowel just to kind of give it um, a little shape. And then um, I'm sticking it in each of the um, pipe cleaners. Oh, thanks, Robin. Yep, when you attach stuff, you just want to make sure that it, you know, gets attached well so nothing's going to fall off, which, you know, that does happen every once in a while, but you do the best you can. So, and then I'm just taking the pipe cleaner and wrapping that around it kind of as a little extra security. And then I will wrap the um, pipe cleaner around the dowel also because you don't want them like sticking straight out. Just to kind of give it a little, you know, more of a decorative look. Okay, and then you just arrange those. Get your ribbons going here. Okay. Well, thank you. Next one, stick it down in there. And like I said, I'm just really kind of wrapping it around the wire frame so that it doesn't go anywhere. Hello from Ohio, Vicki. How are you? All right, put that in there. And then get one of these. Just taking and wrapping it around. And then just use that as a decoration. Yep, 
Yeah, if you guys could share this video with your friends and family, I would appreciate it. I try only to keep you guys on here for an hour, but I'm adding more stuff tonight, so that's why it's taken a little longer, so I apologize for that. Because I know your time is valuable when you're busy people. Oh, Robin, you know, sometimes when I am, when I'm making stuff and I, and I, um, sometimes it comes together really easily. Like sometimes stuff just flows. Oh no. Bye Patty. Thanks for stopping by. Have a safe flight tomorrow. Um, and sometimes there's just certain projects and I don't know what it is that I just struggle with. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Um, I mean, most projects were, are okay, but sometimes every once in a while I get that project where I just like, I don't know, I have to leave it and come back to it or, um, I don't know. I just struggle with it and you're just going to have that. But picking out, you just kind of can't overthink it. You know, you don't want to overthink stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You always end up <laughs> making a bunch. Oh, getting caught in the mesh there. Getting caught in the mesh. But I always say, if, if you're not feeling it or something, you know what? That's what's good about wreathing. You can always pull it apart and redo it again, you know, or just change something up or something like that. Just take it, put it in that pipe cleaner. <clears throat> Get one of these. Yeah, this is just like tinsel on a wire that... Um, I thought, hmm, I'm going to cut up. Because, you know, Walmart and different things like that, they sell those twirly ones that kind of look like this. Um, and I thought, I can do that with these. Why not? This is a lot cheaper than that and um, still gives you the de desired effect. Yeah, Stephanie, I think everyone kind of goes through that. You know, there's just kind of a couple things. Um, yeah, if you just walk away from it, Sometimes when you go back, it's like, ah, yep, that's what I need to do. I need to change this or do this or something. Um, sometimes you just need to do that. And if it's not working, leave it for a couple days. Like, I'm one that I can't do that. But some projects, I'm just like, I can't, I have to leave it and walk away from it for a couple days because I'm the kind of person that if I start something, I want to finish it. Like, I don't want it, like sitting there unfinished that drives me crazy um so i do <laughs> i do tend to drive myself crazy with that kind of stuff but um so every once in a while i have to do that i just have to walk away from it and leave it alone for a while oh that one doesn't have that one in the center um and come back to it and then normally you can you can figure it out But I think everyone kind of has that where they have roadblocks every once in a while where it's just like, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I'm not loving it. Thanks, Mabel. Oh, I know you are because you're, you know, in California, so you do. I know those time zones mess me up, too, with things when I'm watching people that are different time zones. But, yep, you can always go back and um, watch the replay. And if you share it, it will go on your page so you can find it. Um, right on your page if you share it with your family and friends. So please do that. I know, right, Tracy? I don't know. I'm anal, I guess, about some stuff. Some stuff I just can't. 
I just can't let go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm weird. I am weird that way, but I don't know. Everyone has their quirks. <laughs> I know, Rosie, right? I'm not giving up on those alerts for you, Rosie. I don't know what it is, but we are going to figure this out. I haven't heard anything either from, I put a question on that um, Facebook page about mini chat, and I haven't heard anything from, from there on that. So I don't know. All right, so I need to, can, did I put that? No, that's right. Thank you so much for sharing. That is much appreciated. That really helps to get my page out there and get more viewers and more people on here. Hey, Susan, how are you? Sometimes you get a fight with these things them where you want them. Thank you for sharing, Ernestine. I you want to make sure they're on there good. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, so like I said, if you guys don't receive live alerts and would like to get them, just type live in the comments. If you would like information about my monthly wreath group, just type in group. Thanks, Gail. Thanks, Jan. I'm excited about the stuff we're going to do in there. So if you join before tomorrow night, we can get in on our first Zoom call. So we're going to kind of get to know each other. So I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. Okay, I think we have only two more to go. And then we are done. Oh, thanks, Robin. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're here. Where to go? Oh yeah, and we'll definitely be making bows too. I know a lot of people struggle with um, bows, so we'll definitely be doing that also in the group. Working on different different bow makers and different um, bows and things like that. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Isn't that cute? You just simple little thing. Just twirl it around and you're good to go. Just tie it in. And twirl it around. Okay. Everything kind of gets smushed when you're working with stuff. So then you always have to go back and flip everything and rearrange it and that kind of thing. One more. No, nope, we're good. We are good to go. All right, so let's up here and see what we think. Can I get that in everyone? I thought I missed them. See, like when I first pulled all this stuff out, I was going to use this sign. Right? And then I pulled everything out, and I was like, no, I think I have another sign that I like better. So, that's why I don't always, you know, do supply lists and stuff like that. The red, this is just a, um, it's a like a tinsel, like a tinsel wire. 
think I got this at um, Craft Outlet. I got it in green and red, I think. Oh, green and gold, I guess. Um, red and gold, I think. So I thought, I haven't used that yet. Let me try it. All right. And of course, like I said, you have to fluff everything. What do you guys think? No, Kay, I used um, a form that I made myself. Yep, it was just a 14-inch work frame from the Dollar Tree that I put my own um, pipe cleaners on. And I'll show you guys how to do that in the group, too. All right, so there you go. What do you guys think, huh? See the different ones? Like I said, with the different candies and things like that. I think it turned out cute. All right, so that's it. Um, I will... Get it listed in my Etsy shop. So if anybody's interested in the wreath, let me know. And um, don't forget, if you want a live alert and you don't get them, type in live. If you want information about the group, type in group, and you will get information on there. And like I said, we would love to have you. Like I said, our first Zoom call is going to be tomorrow night. I'm super excited about that. You know, just getting to know everyone and, um, you know, talking about the things we have in store. Um, sure, Peggy, just uh, message me with your phone number and I'll give you a call. All right, guys, like I said, hopefully I, not, I know Thursday I have to set up for that craft show. So my live will probably be kind of short once I get set up. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do an alert from there with mini chat. Probably not. So look for me live, probably, you know, anywhere between seven and eight, but it'll probably be close to eight. Once I get in there and get everything set up, it takes a while. Um, so that's what I'll probably do Thursday night. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And we will see you later. Have a wonderful week. Bye.